Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to enter data into R. We're going to be using some data from the example data set in chapter 3 of the textbook. You can read more about that data set there. In fact, we're just going to be using five data points from the mass of the first task. We're also going to be using code from the help sheet that are on entering data into R. And you can see it's got uh, the introduction to this help sheet, but then it's got two sections, two and three, section two and three covering the two different routes of entering data into R, the direct data entry and the importing data uh, from an external file. And we're going to be looking at both of those. Let's consider first the direct data entry route. So let's get R in front of us. And if you want to know how to make R look like this, look at the introductory video. Then we need to get the code from the data sheet. It's down here. Of course you can write it in, but it's quicker and saves errors if you just copy and paste. There you are, paste it. These are notes, tell us what we're doing and um, that we're reminding us to replace the stars with text that's appropriate for this example. So now I have to um, change that to mass1, so that's the name of our object, and then I'll put the data in these brackets. And the data we're going to use is 9.03, Then what we do is we highlight everything and do control R. That makes uh, I'll actually do the work and we get the result printed out here. This just tells us, this just puts our notes in unchanged and tells us, that, that repeats this line of code which so we know that it's acted upon it. We want to double check and make sure that things are all okay. Let's just type the name of the object and run control R and then um, the, the, with the, then it prints it out. So what I did there is I had the cursor at the end. I could have highlighted it but if you've only got one line of code, you don't need to highlight it, you can just um, put your cursor at the end and control R and it prints out the contents of that object. So once you've done that you can also do things like, for example, take the mean of the data in that object by putting the cursor at the end, control R and you've got the mean. So for more uh, code on doing descriptive statistics, look in there help sheet on that in the video on that. Okay, so let's clear the editor by uh, highlighting everything and depressing delete and just using edit delete uh, clear console so we back to a blank uh, our editor and our console ready to look at how to do the second route. Okay, so we're now ready to look at the second way of getting uh, data into R and the first thing we need to do is get an Excel file in front of us and put the data in that. So give the title the data, give it a column title mass1 and then put those data points in 0 0.903, 12.03, 4.5, 2.5 and 1.5. So then, this video needs to consecrate, you need to save that, save as, and the file type here needs to be tabbed eliminated text file, there you go. And uh, we'll just give it a name, task data. Okay, and we'll save it on the desktop. You can save it wherever you like, you just, um, just remember where it is. So we don't need to, this is worried because it's changing the format from a, from a standard Excel worksheet, uh, so we, we don't need to worry about this, so OK there, yes there, and then in fact we don't need to keep that up so we can just close that and we don't need to save it because we've saved it as a text file we want. Alright, so now we need to uh, put the code into R, so let's get our help sheet back and go to the third section which is about importing data, get the code we want. So 
and we paste that in our editor window. Of course you can type this all in, um, but it's easier to paste. The hash uh, signs just a note, some notes to help us. We technically only need the code. Right, so let's change the stars to the name of the object that we're going to put the data in. Tasks. And then we'll ask R to attach column headings as make uh, new objects from each column. And this one is to print those out. Highlight that. And control R to run it. Now navigate to find our file we made earlier. And there you can see it's uh, we, we've printed out the name of the uh, column heading. If we want to just check things, we can type tasks, the name of the object that we created with all the data in. So um, because we're just a single line, we can just put our cursor in and do Control R. It's printed that out. And because actually now Math 1 is an object within an object, we can actually ask R to just tell us what's in that. Right, one, Control R, and um, it print that out. And then so we can do various manipulations with either the overall object tasks or the math one object. And if it had several variables or in in there, so columns of data in there, each with its own heading, it would have made an object out of each of those, um, and you would have been able to uh, look at the data in those individually as well as overall by typing in the overall object name control R or the individual object names in control R. And that's it, that's how to uh, get data into R and, and that's relevant to also the, 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 the additional the, the later help sheets and we'll be using pre-prepared or data sheets, data files that you've made yourself and using this route to get the data in. That's it, well done.